Vinod Anand from Bali, Indonesia. Solar powered humans, as a part of our practice, in fact, it's a drill. It's a practice to perfect myself, you know. In this world, everything is at its perfect state. You know, the only thing is we have to reform ourselves, uplift ourselves, and here is Ashtang Yoga, Solar Powered Humans Philanthropic Mission. Uh, we are here to pave your way to the caves for Samadhi, experiencing Samadhi as I had been to caves, jungles in the Himalayan ranges, your brother here, 65, not for egoism, no exaggeration, we are here to serve the humanity, wherever you are. Try to observe solitude and non-violence under all circumstances, serve these animals and uh, rest assured, if you are serving animals, you have compassion for these innocent friends, your half of your meditation is done the very moment, the day you, I mean, determine yourself, you take an oath you can say, to save these animals, to help these animals, even this thought will start, you know, paving your way. So here, uh, try to go Brazilian in yoga, especially these days, you know, so as a obvious pollution, but the industrialization, you know. So the God has given us wonderful time and again we are giving this message, the solar powered human, sun gazing, especially you know, even those who don't want to go to the extremes like being Brazilian or yoga tiger, Aliton, African, solar powered human, even if to that, I mean, extremes, if you are not, uh, uh, I mean, prepared, you can go, I mean, uh, disease free to detoxicate your body, you know, just with mere sun gazing. And taking energy like, you know, batteries are charged. You know. So here is my, my, my message. And in addition to the solar, uh, you know, sun gazing, it's a tratak, shatkama, uh, the Ashtanga Yoga, shatkarmas, and uh, then your asanas. Again, here is an again, again a message from Lineage Devraha Baba, Yogi Vinodanans, don't practice yoga and don't teach yoga in the wrong way. Again, you are leading the humanity to the asylums, lunatic, instead of giving them health. Don't place this place. Yeah, here I would like to appreciate Baba Ramdev, no doubt. Oh, it's life, but he's teaching. Fortunately, I uh, came across the video, his live video on uh, uh, what do you call his uh, special channel, you know. Um, uh, yeah. So, right practice. This is the portion which is to be touched on the floor. In any case, not this. And those who are leading married life, indulging in sexual activities, never to exceed the limits more than 10 minutes. Time and again, I am repeating this thing. Astha. Astha is the channel. Let's, you know, let's pay gratitude to all the yogis. In fact, oh, I prostrate in the lotus feet of Devraha Baba, my lineage, and all the Naga Babas, for that matter, all the ascetics. India is a land of, oh, as we used to call it, land of snake charmers. <laughs> Snakes, you know, Lord Shiva's, you know, garments, garlands, you know. So, here comes the stream of yoga, Ashtang yoga. You can go Asana channel, Ramdev, exactly, he's teaching in the right way. Headstand. Ah, yeah. Here we go, solar powered humans, like going Pradherian, like Baba Balaknath Ji and uh, Elitom, I have already told you. Then this headstand, even one asana, yeah, it's wonderful. You have to do exercise, all asanas, depending upon your schedule. Early in the morning, getting it for one or two hours, a uh, vigorous exercise. But then ultimately, come to one asana. Eko sadhe sab sadhe sab sadhe sab jaye. Like the scientist, the smallest atom, they perfected, perfecting in that and see the result now, the nuclear power. So, Eko sadhe means asana 84 lakh of species. We are in the garb of the human beings, the most, I mean, the top 
which has come with the evolution of the Darwin's theory, you know, now survival of the fittest. So here we go after that, headstand, how to go in Samadhi with headstand. Again, it's a word of caution. Everybody has not to follow us to that extent. For that, you need celibacy, non-violence in all circumstances, and, you know, fruitarian at least. And when you are practicing headstand, you can uh, you simply forget about going Bridarian for the time being because you need to take Desi Ji. Oh, so the, uh, yeah, you can go to, I'm not trying to advertise anybody, but it's my way of life. It's a way of, you know, we must pay gratitude to those. Yeah, Ramdev is doing a good job in field of yoga. Oh, yeah, at least he's not teaching anything wrong. Okay, thank you, Ramdev Ji. Oh, wonderful. All the blessings are with you, Naga Babas. Now, here comes the solar powered humans. It's a stream of knowledge from the Himalayan rangers, Devra Baba. Those who want to experience Samadhi, we are here, we are, we are on our way, you know. We are on the move now with the Western people, American people, other, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, just beyond, you know, geographical boundaries, unity in diversities. No religion, caste, creed, color, it's a pure science. As Muslims, uh, the, I mean, they do a namaz in this is Vajrasana. Okay, this is Vajrasana. Let me tell you now. Oh, see, here is the Vajrasana. Like this. Yeah. Comfortably sitting. This is Vajrasana. So our Muslim friends are paying their namaz in this, like going down. So this is the Vajrasana. Asana number, see you can sit like this immediately after your lunch, breakfast, dinner. Uh, even this is the only asana, another Brahmacharya asana is also, but now I am telling you about this Vajra asana. You can see like this, here on the hips to be on the heels, sitting comfortably, no stiffness, so like this. You can sit 5, 10, 20. Depending, and the yogis sit on this asana for us together. Siddhasana, Padmasana, I tell you, Padmasana, this is number two asana, Padmasana. Let's learn things, you know. This is your Padmasana. Yeah, we can do number of things like this. I am demonstrating you Padmasana. Now, uh, let's discuss further. Yeah, yeah. So, Number one is your Siddh, then Padmasana I have demonstrated you, Vajrasana after taking your lunch, breakfast, dinner and now number one Siddhasana. I will be demonstrating you, it is not for the Grihasthas, we will go in details. Padmasana is number two for meditation, Siddhasana, then Padmasana, this is lotus posture, third is your Vajrasana which I just demonstrated you. It gives you the perfection, makes you Urdhvareta, your energy start ascending upwards towards your Sahasradhar. So this is Vajrasana. You can practice beyond Vajrasana for us together, as yogis do in the caves. 10 hours, 12 hours, depending, you know. Lunch, breakfast, dinner, this will make you healthy. Jatshragni, your digestive system, your navel, which is the call the fire, okay, Muladha, Swadhisthan, Manipura. This will work as a furnace. Huh. Like this. You won't have any gastric problem, digestive system. Now here today. We are taking you towards the samadhi. Observing solitude, non-violence under all circumstances. Now see, I'm your brother here. 65. Just to I mean set up and just give you a clue about yoga, what exactly yoga is. Okay, so we have to remain healthy, exuberant, you know, full of energy, I mean, potent even. These days, if you have to enjoy the world, you have to have complete control on seminal fluid, Noli Kriya, Shat Karmas, follow the right person, right people, yoga. Now we are dealing in the extremes of practices, Vajrali, Kheshri, Kevli Kumbhaka. In fact, this whole world is a, you know, 
form, it's Lord everywhere, it's Lord himself. Whosoever you see, any preacher, any yogi, any, you know, ascetic, okay, even a snake charmer, even in the quacks in the slum area, everybody, everything is God, nothing other than God. So, whatever we do, we must ensure, I mean, we have to keep on giving auto-suggestion all the time that we are dealing with the Lord himself. Even if they are animals, they are, and it's a game of karma. Newton's third law, every action has got equal and opposite reaction. If you give love to the animals, you will be reciprocated in a mysterious way, depending, because it's all God. God can see as soul, can neither be killed, nor be burnt, nor be... So even if those who are, we are in, in this part, jivo jivasya bhojanam, even in the army, in the police, in the wars, and even if we are being vegetarian and non-vegetarian, this is all dealing with the God only. God, it doesn't make any difference to the Lord. Even if you cut him, chop him, eat him, or you smell him, or you love him, it's merely a drill. He's beyond all these things. That's why Lord Krishna says we have to be above and beyond sattvic and rajasik, tamasik. Even the sattvic firmness is the binding, is with the golden chains, as the Gita says. So here the purpose of my discussion is this message is we have to be above all these disparities. Let everybody be where he is in his religion according to their Godheads. Let them be. Don't we never interfere in anybody's. We never impose ideas. We are dealing with the God and according to our karmas, according to our mythologies, according to the place we are. So everything is perfect. Now we are here. We are here. Just above and beyond geographical boundaries, caste, creed, this is the pure science you can choose, pick up according to your lifestyle. If you are a married person, you have to see how much headstand you have to do. If you are a celibate, you can, th you can think of it, then it's different. Now we invite you here. You can follow us for the vigorous of health and get up early in the morning. You must get up early in the morning, Amrit, when the Shushmana is flow. So now we believe more in action. Okay, the theory it's got, but now Eko sade sab sade sab sade sab jai. In yoga, those who are following us, zero tolerance first. No intoxicants at all. You know, these days, you know, ayahuasca, LSD, opium, puki, what you call the husk, opium, husk, you know, what not. The humanity, we are dragging ourselves. Again, I repeat the shloka, same shloka from Gita, Lord Krishna says, man can uplift himself by himself. So these all outer, even if they are ascetics, if we are yogis, we are all friends, these are only the stimulants, which are the help which is coming from the out, but ultimately we know thyself and who we are, not mere thoughts, above these senses, this chattering of the mind, then prana, we have to perceive what prana is. Then we are governing that. We are digesting our food. We are taking a birth. We are dying at our own will, but we are not conscious of it. We, in the sense, am brahmasmi, of a higher form. These perceptions do come to the yogis, to you too, in the caves. But to be stable in that, in that infinite, is the question now. Now, for example, in this room, I am observing, trying to observe. Solitude, the bliss of solitude. I am sharing this with the welcome to Solar Power Dumas. The same experience because solitude is a must in yoga. If you really think of awakening your what do you call these symbolic words, Kundalini chakras, energy, you need to observe solitude under I mean in any case you will have to enjoy, perceive the bliss of solitude. Even in the rooms, those who are retired, they can think like that. Or in the case, we have welcome you here. If you cannot afford to be the Himalayan ranges, as I was for years together, 
you we have an alternate here so again i openly say i cannot resist myself blessed are the english people the westerners and especially americans i tell you i am just for reasons behind i don't they are in anonymity you have got persons with you in the solar i openly say today <laughs> i i beg my i beg your pardon from the tigers and the lions i'm little in a i mean other way in a, see you are the luckiest possible people you have got yogis those have mastered who have mastered the english people americans westerners i was never gasted to meet those people how they taught me how to get rid of coffee even being a yogi for years together in caves so here solar power demon this is the introduction i am giving you i am showing you the path where you have to go because your throbbing hearts the westerners the english most adventurous people with the supreme intellect the projection of the rishi and munis that's why these gadgets have come this high technology so you have people you have to search them out they are in anonymity solar powered humans i am just giving you one clue go there meet them how to remain in the dark to eat the cave sadhana for months together it's no comparison comparisons are odious no competition the simply remaining in almost anonymity we are leading i am a part very tiny part of that and solar powered humans is a stream of that dark retreat how to achieve as yogis go in the caves in their subtle body and to lay their body at their will this same thing coincides with the dark retreat with the i mean buddhist philosophy tibetan see how all shat karmas are the one and the same like that cheshri even shat karmas so here is a message of mine as it's a part of my practices i am enjoying my yoga you know this purpose of mine is god wants me to perfect this me in my god my destiny like this so i'm sharing with you keep picking up good things like pearls and here for the vascular people from the english people whose throbbing heart is well understood but solar powered humans few of our tigers lions they can perceive your heart what exactly you want hope oh, definitely it's no exaggeration again i'm telling you just switch over to the uh, solar powered humans dark treat on the face then we are here with you first purify yourself now we come to the your uh, hat yoga perfection to stop the chattering of the mind and this is all connected with the what the mistake we are making let me explain you before we go to the yoga had stand the purpose the culmination of the yoga as what mistake we are doing these days listen very carefully it's a i mean it's a very precious thing i am going to share with you as the mistake what i am doing in this world is it's an elusive state definitely no doubt according to the scriptures even and to the enlightened persons those who are god heads but again i repeat baba nanak dev ji guru gobind singh ji prophet muhammad sir jesus christ buddha mahavira swami vekananda they have perceived all these things so we have to follow that so in this elusive world what mistake we are trying to draw is in this dream state to an enlightened person it's like a movie going on in the theater on the screen and we are getting involved with that sometimes getting emotional with these characters dreamy characters as on the screen of the theater now what mistake we are doing is we tr- we are trying to change either the situation on the screen okay by foolish attempts without knowing the exact method or changing the whole movie as we are trying to change the whole environment of this universe very good hats off to those people this we are trying on the screen but the other way out is to perfect yourself and to change the movie and to be yourself in complete contentment and state of bliss is to perfect yourself 
and for that you have to know from how this film is going on you have to go to the projector to go to the projector instead of just like a computer you want to cure no your anxiety your emotions from where they come from the interaction with the world the movie which you are visualizing itself is an illusion and you won't reach anywhere rest assured according to yoga now today you are suffering from anxiety okay you don't know the reason then you are having suicidal tendencies then your schizophrenic personality split so here we go from where it comes it comes with the interaction of the this scenario of this mortal world this mortal transient and perishable world through the senses the mind with the karmas we become victim to all these signs and till our death we are in the state of dream we are never able to reach that project from where this whole picture is going on the yogis do the same thing to reflect back all your energies from where these thoughts are being generated and they reach oh the core of the whole system this is called prana five prana pan saman udahan vyan this this is the science behind your thoughts and how can you think of stopping your chattering impossible so here is the way to reach that particular origin from where this whole phenomena picture dream for the ignorant is happening so we go here solar powered humans with the meditation scientific way with the buddhist mythology and backed up with the indian yogis cave yogis how to make your crystal like clear to let the which all the time that light is very much here invisible like x rays but the only thing we have to make ourselves crystal clear clean so the, this purpose was before we do anything we must know what the target is so our target is to come out of this illusion of this mortal world we are interacting through the this garb this system with its limits like an iceberg one tenth is working only to go deeper into that you come to know i am brahmasmi we are on our way the moment you are perfect as i am trying now through these videos through this yoga through this interaction so i am reciprocated by the god because i am sharing truth and god shared truth with us law newton's third law every action has equal and opposite reaction so this is the true yoga what we are striving for that's jumping doing yoga all the techniques good but observing celibacy and your non violence then going the purpose as chattering of the mind is merely the first step from where the meditation starts and now try to introspect yourself have you started your journey no so this is the purpose now asana one asana king asana is the top most asana this helps the yogis those who are going in advance everybody is in advance already but only thing is these are the efforts otherwise you will take birds and birds and birds and birds time and again in this by in as a different species depending to i mean uh, pass through your karmas to have the reap the fruit of the karmas you have done so now the intelligent yogis those who are practicing diligently according following the mythologies they are able to uproot their karmas by themselves first you have to visualize them until unless you have all these equipments like mri machines x ray how can you think of it so first you have to see yourself from where these thoughts are originating why i am here of this planet five elements body being cremated in the cremation ground we don't have the perception so it was long i am enjoying myself you to enjoy before it's very good in yoga we never find fault the moment you think of finding fault in others means you have started the things have started sprouting in you all that filth which you are visualizing 
So the innocence is in the small kittens, puppies, it's all in you. Like this, when the God has to perfect you, merge you in himself, he appears before you. See as the small puppies, how they change your voice. Oh, you have become different like compassionate man. Like this, when time comes when the God can appear himself before you in a subtle form to merge you like that, you will be merged immediately. So this message of mine is spontaneous. I was about to do my practices, enjoying with my kittens. Oh, lovely, they are enjoying the sea now. If you are talking of God, you will find all your animals in your room. They sleep down. See, I, I, there are my puppies. Oh, in a perfect sleep. Marvelous. Pinchu. So here I go for my asana. The purpose is, you may also follow us. Strive for the best. Shakespeare. Be choosy. Have penetrating eyes. And uh, your destiny will definitely lead you. You are interacting with now the solar powered humans. Especially the Westerners, you know. It's my very, very, I mean, a message, you know, from the heart, you know, from the core of my heart. As I've seen in the Himalayan ranges, uh, those, uh, some people, you know, so this is the direction I'm giving you. They can deal you in a oh, wonderful way through this Buddhism philosophy, even beyond this symbolism. Different deities, different religions, different, even beyond that, pure science. Formless, you can be led there, but dark retreat. I am also on my way. I am also on my way. I am yet to experience dark retreat, in spite of the fact that I had been to caves. It's a different thing. We have babas there. Sometimes we light fire also. Oh, it's a different game, but it's equally good dark retreat for go and for go. Search out, search out. You have to search because in India too, masters never teach you. Simply you reach the Himalayan ranges. It depends, you have to find out. They give you just little clue. Then it's up to you because if they give you more and more and more hint, means you are, they are making you on crutches to make you learn free, fry. See, it happens like this. So I will be in my asana now. Ha, ah, my puppies are well, Om. Ah, yeah, don't forget Nolly. You must practice Nolly whenever you have time. Try to be brotherial and uh, food, fruitarian, little body I'll do, then I'll go to my asana. <sighs> and you can also follow me, those who are empty stomach, you know, I'm in Bali right now. So, like this, uh, those who can think of doing Nolly, uh, it has to be 108 times. Now I have done it, when I am having some exercises on the staircases, running, you know, a bit of exercise depending upon how your body is responding. Alright, so then it becomes natural, like lion, once you are transformed into lion, you need not do different warming up exercise before chasing your prey. Have you seen ever a lion before chasing a prey, he is doing warm up exercises? No, it's in barn. It goes automatically, simultaneously. So, this will happen to you. Ah. Ah, again, I say, oh, Asta is a good channel. Oh, Guru Ramdev Ji, you probably don't know me. I know you. <laughs> no selfish models. You are doing a good job, you know. Reaching the headstand in the right position. And here we are, solar powered humans, to take you. Oh, Samadhi then. Oh, Namah Shivai. So, uh, Noli, then uh, try to be there. Just like fruitarian, nutritious diet. Then uh, you can join us, solar powered humans, then you know how to go Bradarian, Elton. So, a number of things. So, this video is just an introduction of ours, you know. Bali is open now. So this too is a reciprocation to the mother island. We are all in the lap of the mother. It's all mother here. So, Nolly, 108 times try. Just keep on increasing. Asana, slowly, half an hour, not all the asanas, some asanas for meditation, 
like Pashimuta asana is also practiced for more. These asanas, Padma asana, Siddha asana, for us together, headstand slowly for half, but don't make a mistake of headstand more than 10 minutes. Then it's a different game. Uh, you will be sharing with you when you come and join us in the dark retreat, you will have the experiences. Then Kachari, then Vajrali, complete control on seminal flute to enjoy this world to its extremes and have your progeny like tigers, not like foxes, jackals, ailing, you know. No, you should have your progeny in the coming generations. You are sowing the seeds now if you are doing yoga. See your progeny, what happens then? Oh, Namah Shivaya. So, I always love practicing yoga in, my, uh, in the company of my kittens. They are sleeping, my Tinchu and Pinchu. But I will be in my headstand, I will be disturbing them, sorry for that. I, I want to enjoy with them, you also enjoy. I will be in my headstand and slowly you can keep on increasing the time. Because you are a busy lot, cutthroat competition, but those who can uh, slowly will be give you a schedule. Of hour, half an hour depending, Niti Dhuti, you keep following us. And uh, join solar powered humans, it's, it's an enjoyment. So here I go in my asana, you can see and uh, those who are empty stomach, they can uh, uh, even uh, join me, you know, ah, here. Do Nolly again once. In this, uh, I am also in this venture practicing myself. <laughs> Complete exhalation. In the meantime, you can do C exercise, like sit up, 50. Oh, see Baba Ramdev. Oh, wonderful. He is teaching you. Have hey, hundred thousand slides, slowly keep increasing. Uh, I love India. So like this. <laughs> Complete exhalation. See, Noli, don't forget doing Noli, you know, Om Namah Shivaya. So, now, we'll enjoy Asana with our uh, kittens. Uh, you also, you can be with me. Uh, Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Oh, oh again. Wonderful. <laughs> the, these uh, Tinchu and Pichu, they are one month old. In the night at 12, I mean, approximate, they are I mean, uh, trying, loving me, licking me for Turya Sandhya. Yogis, Okay, as Muslims do their namaz five times a day, in yoga, meditation, there are sandhyas. And in the night, from 12 onwards, one or two hours, this is called Turya Sandhya. So they are seeing how God is manifesting. They are making me my meditation at 12. <laughs> May God bless. Oh, I'll, this will be a reciprocation. Bless these kittens, Tinchu and Pinchu. Ah, and their mother Kati. Okay, so here we go. This portion and practice with me as long as you like. So I'll be with you. Wonderful. Ah. Oh, 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 I like their company. They'll be playing with me even. Ah, Ma Teja. Oh, sure. Oh, no, sure. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. I did do it that. My tinctures. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Breathing will be normal as I am uh, talking to you. When you are silent, Mool Bandha means uh, contraction of your uh, anus, anal passage, and your perineum region. And uh, this is called Mool Bandha. And uh, then Udyan Bandha is your, I mean, taking your stomach inside upwards. 
नौवीं ज्ञान बंधा इज इन एक्सलेशन आफ्टर निर्भाग्य को होगा
Again I repeat, Om Shri Krishnaya Namah. You have to keep on doing meditation like this. Okay? Not merely for teaching. In this process of preaching, teaching, it's God Himself perfecting, it will happen. As Baba Nanak Dev Ji says, Kare Karave Aapri Aap Manas Ke Nahi Kuch Vi Aap means in English, it's all God Himself. He is doing and He is making you do by Himself. Manas Ke Nahi Kuch Vi Aap means there is nothing in the hands of uh, human beings. It's merely we are, uh, it's an illusion. We are not doing anything. We are like puppets. Everything is being done by the super power. And it's merely saying, I am I am God, it doesn't make any sense. If you say, I am a millionaire, and uh, you don't have a single penny in your bank, then it's something ridiculous. Okay, then this is, to call yourself Aham Brahmasmi is ridiculous unless you have at least started your journey, at least. You know, for flexibility, you have to see how you have to do. In Padmasana, see here exhalation, this is very important. When you go downwards, exhale. I have exhaled, I am inhaling. You can hold your breath here. Exhale, hold your breath here. Ah, you will find in your back. Prana is going to your back. Power when you inhale. Then you start enjoying it, in fact. In the initial stage, we call Sahar Yoga. This becomes Sahaj to you. Sahaj means in Hindi English, which is comfortably done. Now, to me, to stand continuously for two hours would be difficult. But now to be upside down, I start enjoying. This happens to the yogis. Then you can recite mantras. Om. Om. See now I have started sweating. This is good. And uh, another thing, when you do asana, pranayamas, heat is generated. And when you sweat, don't wipe the sweat with towel or any cloth. It's a prana shakti. So you can rub it on your skin. Here. Slowly when Ah, here what happens after half an hour you come to your breath starts flowing very gently. Now I can feel my shushmana naturally it starts opening both the nostrils very very comfortable. Then you don't feel any pain then you are a different personality. When the throw of Shushmana through both the nostrils. When you go to Dhankaya in the dark retreat, uh, same Hindu mythology coincides your moon and sun, Swara. When they are different, this whole illusion world is a, uh, appearing. We are interacting all illusion, nothing can be explained in the dream. Because we too are a part of the dream as a character. Could be devotee, could be teacher, you know. So it's God himself in the end. When awakened from the dream, the master and the devotee, both of them merge. Then there is no uh, diversity. No diversity in all 84 species, same consciousness operating. So that's why Ram Krishna says nobody dies, nobody takes birth. That is, means this as a, I mean, head towards your soul. These bodies do die, perish. Now this we have to perceive. Oh, let's now again say Lord Krishna's slok, the gate.
gateway to samadhi, to gateway to discipline in your mind. Again I repeat, you made this shloka a gateway of your pathway, your gateway to your salvation. Chapter 18, Shloka 33. Dhritya dharite manaha praindriya kriya yogena vyavicharanya dhritiha sahapath satyuji. So, what will happen slowly? Uh, once you are perfecting your asana, then you have not to take special care of your angles, okay, the alignment of the body, it starts happening automatically. When your prana ascend, everything is aligned. As you are in a rage, you are angry, see how you become. Your body language changes. When you are, uh, uh, I mean, something low, you stew. So it's all natural. You have to follow the shat karma. And again I repeat, this asana for us together can never be perfected unless you are observing non-violence in all circumstances. In yoga, eating fresh, drinking and hurting anybody through word, your deeds, you know, you can never succeed. Just by virtue of the practice, I have not to 
no bother of the discipline or the blood from the skull or the time or pain or something. No, this is practice. Okay, done. As in childhood, we can ride two wheeler after the practice on three wheeler. So this system, asana means that you are free of it, body ailments, disease, anxieties, all these things, you know, disappear, vanish, as when the sun rises, all the darkness disappears, flies, or other mosquitoes, you know. So like this, when your asana is said, of course, following the disciplines, yam niyam, buddham sharam gachami, so all these things disappear automatically while you strive throughout your life. Running to somebody, that is also good, but for some people, not for the yogis, I am telling you, that's why I am inviting you to solar power, humans, dark tree. English people, with English people learning. <laughs> Americans, yogis, African, Brazilians. Buddha, small, Tibetan, then him or Mahayogi, you know. <laughs> we are all with you. Devra Baba, Dhyandam Chari, Hey, everybody is good. No, oh, then you are. Oh, Asharam is also good. No, Asharam, sorry. Oh, it happened some wrong. Never mind. So, your uh, Sadhguru, good. Intellectual. Everything is good. But here we are, yogis. <laughs> <laughs> we are yogis later, gave yogis to take you to master yourself, enjoying the world, like dish and trainer, you have many many channels, this mortal world one channel, this interacting with the world, different levels, Another channel, third channel, beyond dualism, fourth channel, full of energy, <laughs> fifth channel, control on seminal fluid, even like indulging in, uh, like a submarine, nothing can touch, how to be a lotus flower, untouched, unaffected by the filth of the dirty pond that dirt is a manure to the lotus flower. So yogis like lotus flower, lord in yogi, yogi in lord. Um, see now, as the time is increasing, you will find my voice, I am fighting it myself, I am just giving you a hint. It becomes heavier, breath slows down, heartbeat also slows down. Um, because in your sad standing posture, see, I give you a secret. In your standing, your heart has to work too much to pump the blood to your skull just because of the gravitational pull. This secret you might not have heard. <laughs> okay, from the Rahulavan blessings I give you. Because now my head is downward skull, so my heart will not have to uh, do much strenuous effort, you know, throbbing for pumping the blood to the skull. Because maximum blood is to be given to the skull. So it's comfortably happening. So the heart is completely relaxed. Oh, so breath comes to a halt slowly. Now I'm giving the secret of Kevli Kumbhaka, the culmination of all the yogas. Let's play yoga yoga. <laughs> Om. Oh, greater the souls born in India than Himalayan rangers. Om, oh, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, so good you are, Om Namah Shivaya. So like this, if
particular in head scan with the use of fractures, then you slowly lubricate the kubaka and that day the experience the KV kubaka means you can see how you control your thought process from where it is coming. This whole world becomes futile to you. <laughs> because every action with this world is for the reaction of for the reciprocation of blissfulness, enjoyment, ecstasy, all you are doing, meditation, serving to humanity, whatever you are doing, fighting, quarreling, egoism, oh, all to derive some pleasure, sattvic or tamasic, and yoga takes you beyond that. You are the master of yourself. Know thyself. And before knowing thyself, you have to know who is trying to know. <laughs> know thyself, try to know the knower then. And then everything merges. It's like that. I have not uh, been able to be stable there or go past through the bang of it merging into the Lord. And it's very, I mean, we need grace to bear the, I mean, coming out of the dream. We live in the light world of enlightenment. We need the blessings like mother picks up from the cradle to show you the other world. We are children. Ah, once we become mature, we are again in our form. You may feel you are rotating the earth. You are the sun, not you are the king, it's you yourself. It's me myself in the catch. The energy rising we are talking, energy is not different from you. Coding is not different from us. Everything merges. As long as you are trying something, preaching or teaching or learning or trying to know yourself, you are in dualism. The moment the blissful state happens, and this is with the kripa of the Himalayan ranges, Bhavas. Bhavas in the sand, their disciplines, their uh, signs, you know, how they guide you, how they tell you to swim. Oh, this is Lord Himself. He can manifest even in the animals. Now see in these gadgets, it's all God himself. Perfecting me. See how as my consciousness is conscious that people watch me, my friends, I'm in dualism. But even this Maya is perfecting me. So mother is like a Maya. The Maya is none other than ma mother. And the mother picks you up like a kitten, takes you from one place to other without getting you hurt with her sharp teeth, jaws, <laughs> and kills the mouse with the same. This is a simile, you know. These are assemblies, metaphors. Then it's a metaphor, you are a child. Once the mother blesses you, um, um, Dhanya Hare, India is great. India, that world, because I'm talking in the dualism, patriotism, you have to keep being patriotic. You have to be a faithful player of your team. Even if it's a fight, even if it's a match, we have to be a person sticking to our own religion, our own teams. Religion means our science. As long my religion is non-violence, as my religion is now not to drink, my religion is to help the animals, now my religion is like this. To go above and beyond these rituals, uh, these speeches merely, this is good everything good. So now this is, my religion is to share good things with others, 
try to introspect myself, you should do like this, and to introspect yourself, who is going to introspect, that is more important. If you are a sleeping person, you are a morbid personality, how will you introspect yourself? To introspect, to know yourself scientifically, you have to be a scientist. What introspection, what study uh, Riksha Pular can do, I am not finding fault with Riksha Pular, it's all God. In the layman, how, what will he do in the chemistry lab? This is like introspection. Merely fighting with your thoughts, emotions, running here, there, nothing. Hey, come to solar power demons. No institution, no business. <laughs> Experience of dark retreat, cave sadhana. So I'll come down now. Because maybe very, very long video and uh, I have to thank, meet some of my yoga tigers. They are in Bali now, my yoga tigers, tigresses. Oh, Namashwa. Ma, let me see if it's working. Uh, oh, ma. <laughs> oh, you are blessed. See, oh, they are sleeping behind my head. That's why I was giving lions and panthers. And uh, let me show you through the camera once again my puppy, my lovely. Oh, but I was, when they are with me sleeping, I dream of lions, panthers, and oh, they come to me. Okay, so bless these puppies, Tinchu and Pinchu. <laughs> more than any yoga, more than any samadhi. Oh, may God bless all these. Let's love these animals. You know? Oh, ma. Oh, sorry for disturbing you, Tinchu, Pinchu. Oh, you also disturb me in the night. At 12, you are scratching me. Okay, okay. Say hi to everybody. Oh, Ma. So say Namaskar to India, Baba. Okay, that's it. Jai Mahakal. Okay, but relax now. Yeah, another message. Very spontaneous. All is fair in love and war. Uh, see, like this, when you love God, His creatures. Oh, <laughs> again they are coming. I'm going, oh, I have to take care. Sometimes they. In my, under my feet, they may not come. I am always over oh, here. So, what exactly happens? Another message here. Yeah, after headstand, you have to come to your uh, at least uh, minimum half the time of the for 10 minutes headstand, minimum 5 minutes, 7 minutes. You have to be in corpse posture. Anyway, it's my routine, so I, I'll be going to the pool. Uh, time permit, permits me if, and do plowing. Here, the message again, for the animal lovers, <laughs> they are, how is looking at me, staring at me. See, for the animal lovers, this is a message, all is fair in love and war, like Mahabharata. If you are doing something for the right cause, okay, as a doctor does operation for removing cancerous tumors, it's not violence. So here comes the message, I am a perfect, a yes, celebrity one. And observing Buddha Sharanam Gachami, see here is the fish, you know. Fish. I boil this fish, I bring this, see, it's contradictory, absolutely out of the way of Ashtanga Yoga, non violence under all circumstances. But I am indulging myself, feeding my Tinchu Pinchu. God sent me, sent them to me, you know. So, it's my not to get back, you know, in spite I have to compromise sometimes for a good cause. Animal lovers, you can go like that. Yogi Vinodhanand here, again I say, all is fair in love and war. So, this is love. Sometimes you have to go to this extent. We should never hesitate if we are doing something for a good cause, for our nation, for our patriotism or saving somebody, like doctors do. So sometimes, like mother is harsh sometimes with us, slapping us when we are children. So this is all like God. It's like God. You see, in Hindi we call it the person who makes earthen pots. It's a wheel. We call Kumhar in Hindi. What he does is took clay, clay mixed with the water, making it soft. Then on the wheel he rotates it. 
So to give a shape to that, shape of earthen pot, pitcher, what he does is, one hand he rotates the wheel and the mud starts rotating. You have seen it, you know. So he what did, he puts one hand inside, on the other side he keeps tapping like this. What he does is, he is giving support from inside and the wheel is rotating and the shape is being done to the mud shaping it to the simple mud it becomes a pitcher what is happening like the person who makes it called kumhar who makes these earthen pots on the wheel on a wheel that wheel in olden days were of the bullock cart you know big wooden wheel so the purpose of this simile is the god the mother goddess is putting her hand beneath the earth and from upside he is like this to give the shape when the wheel is like this God is mother goddess is making us giving us a particular form making us perfect by punishing us like as we are doing with the pad to give a shape to to make a picture of the mud so already we are made up of five elements earth water fire, air, ether. Ether means the space everywhere. So these five elements, already we are a pot, like earthen pot. Now, in different shapes, 84 lakh species you can say, on this planet. Forget about other planets, where life is possible. So, these 84 lakh species. Now, whatever is happening, we should learn the art of endurance. See, a wonderful message I am giving you. Endurance. Either you cure yourself, go to a doctor. If you are in trouble, some pain or some suffering, so this is the accumulation of the karmas which is boomeranging and we should pass smilingly. We should pass smilingly. That's why yogis in India, ascetics, they put their hands like this. They punish themselves. They don't punish themselves. That is the very hardest kind of meditation. This is a secret. Lord Krishna never advises that because for reasons to let the world go on in this law of equanimity, karma yoga. But that too is a sadhana of hatha yoga. To the yogis you must have seen in Kump take their arm throughout their life's years and it withers away like a leaf. That is different. It gives perception. It's not our field now today. After this headstand, my field was compassion for you and practice. As I'm practicing now, see the room, 10 minutes, at least, wherever you go, do knowledge. Now see, you have not to do this after headstand, but whenever you have time, don't forget knowledge. This will help you and knowledge then will take you to Vajrauli also. There are different asanas you will be doing in Kaga asana, but now simple knowledge you do it. Some asanas are for your bhakasana and all they give special on Mula Dhara Swadhisthana. Which Vajrali will be doing that. But first of all, concentrate on your asana and knowledge. Mukhur Bandha, too much. Hoom, 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 hoom. We'll discuss here. I hope you are enjoying. It's my practice. So, yeah, it's all for the day. So, like this, whenever you have time. So, but you have to be very precise and to know yourself what kind of profession you are doing, what kind of lifestyle you are leading. Then only go in for these extremes. And we welcome you for the vigorous of health. Your brother, Devraha Baba, Dinye Shri Yudhishthira Prasad Tripathi, Narabdehar, 65 years. Just to give you 
little confidence that this is yoga. You can very safely follow us. Solar powered humans, especially the Americans, English, those hearts throb the way the hearts of our tigers throb in English. <laughs> so it's a positive thing for you, you know. Sometimes I see the Americans and I've, I saw them in jungles and caves. Uh, sometimes there is the difficulty of language. So here they understand you well. And furthermore, this is a game of truthfulness. No selfish motives at all. As Lord Krishna says, a true yogi is one who has not even one single worldly desire. We are of the type. Here, solar powered humans, we don't want anything from you because you and we are one and the same. Let's join together, Bali, Indonesia. Most welcome to the solar powered humans, be a tiger, be a tiger. Yeah, don't forget, Noli. See, time and again, I'm putting, moment you are talking, you are in a restaurant, you are empty stomach. Noli, Noli, Noli. I'm operated here. See, never give up. I was operated here in army, you know. Something, but still meshes there, still do it. Never get back. Oh, no liquor at all. No intoxicants at all. This is my room. Oh, no, Shiva. So, it's all for the day. May the Almighty bless all the living creatures and bless them with oh, his treasures of knowledge which are beyond the human mind's perception. It's he himself. Oh, His grace can take us to those realms. Om, oh, I prostrate in the lotus feet of all the Naga Babas, all the yogis, those who are truly striving for, be a king on their senses, not special beggars. Don't take my words, otherwise it's not ego hurting. Don't be special beggars. Spiritual beggars are worse than those beggars, those with a bowl begging in the trains, in the buses, on the roadsides, before the temples. Those beggars are far better than the spiritual beggars. At least they are begging for survival of their body just because of number of reasons. There could be the cripple mentally, physically, or by crippled by their weak karmas. But don't be a spiritual beggar. The first lesson of your life is to be a tiger. As Jesus appeared as a tiger, everybody is a tiger. Don't follow jackals. Om. Jai Hind, Jai Hind, Jai Mahakal. Jai Himalayan Rangers, most welcome to India. Om Namah Shivaya. All the yogis, whosoever is practicing yoga, oh, wish you all the best. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. I have my pitus, have the view of my pitus. This is my chintu. My pitu. This is, oh, it's, oh, see how the mother goddess, oh, may God bless them. It's feeding. Okay, it's time for their milk now. So here you can have the view of. Uh, I'll show you the view even, Bali. Here my sea cross ventilation window. Lights, my video is no professional. I want to share the best things with the humanity. So here we go. See the cloudy. Now it's getting cloudy. And the, ah, best time for sun gazing. You can see, look at my eyes. Ah, if you can look here from here. Yeah, sun gazing, wide open eyes. 
if you can see my eyes wide open eyes without blinking Om Namah Shivai Om This will fill you with like nuclear energy You can look at my eyes because I have done a lot of practice this way you have not to make a mistake of doing at this time as the sun is it's after 12 could be it's on the head uh, approximately 90 degree so you have to practice it in the morning at sunrise and sunset not just by uh, my we are observing celibacy uh, so if i do here um oh, 15 minute like blinking no eyes blinking and uh, you know no tears to be rolled down here you need celibacy if you make the mistake of doing sun gazing at 12 or like this you will burn your retina even you may lose your eyesight so here is a word of caution again uh i'm not trying to find fault but the persons who, who are not uh, have practiced these uh, sun gazing for us together they shouldn't lead anybody only or uh, on moon you can do full moon uh, but not on the sun when it's bright like this but this gives you more energy you know in my case now if i do uh the same everything is reciprocal if you are mastering your asanas your eyes start stop blinking you can do more concentration on the uh sun on any object you do this gazing on the moon better when it's full moon see these are all reciprocal the more you master your asana the more you can gaze the more you do you reach towards kevali kumbhaka the culmination of all the pranayamas stop chattering the mind even on tratka if you can do 3 hours 48 minutes on any object like burning uh, cleared butter lamp or moon or star 3 hours 48 minutes this without blinking your eyes take you to shambhavi automatically and you are in samadhi even with this automatically kevli kumbhaka happens that's why yogi pick up one thing eko sadhe sab sadhe sab sadhe sab jaye after jumping like monkey is happening finding yourself fat then switch over to one asana here is the message from the solar powered humans vinodanand practicing yoga with pub my kittens and we welcome you here so this ultimately the because everything if you master atom you know your master scientist say where what parts we have been able to invent see one pick up one if you pick up that car pick up 3 hours 40 yeah but now here back to with celibacy and non violence if you are not doing that simply even if you achieve doing all your efforts even you are able to achieve a plane jet plane or mercedes rolls royce what was the name of the car so but if you don't have fuel it's trash it's nothing it's scrap even the big planes if you don't have fuel that is your celibacy simon then your non violence and rolls comes and then everything gets perfected in spite of the fact we don't need these things now but our masters wants us from the himalayan ranges to be here like this like puppets we are interacting most welcome to bali anybody anybody who wants to have demonstration enjoy as a routine head stand us together running 20 20 kilometers in the jungles valleys helping the animals serving the humanity one and the only one target bull shoot <laughs> may god bless the all him whole creatures all humanity thank you for watching all for the day